Hi, I'm James Lachlan, a former seven time world champion pipe band drummer. I want to share with you a little bit of a lesson inside my pipe band drumming inner circle. So every week I have a live practical lesson delivered either by myself or one of my amazing lineup of tutors. So you're gonna see a little snippet from that today. And hey, if you would like to get your hands on a free drumming course, a full video course called Drumming Transformation Week, just click in the link below. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I put out so many video tutorials on pipe band drumming, so I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's move on from a basic score to a much more advanced score for a familiar tune, see what we can do, and also see where we might get into trouble. Now, with the process for doing this, let's run through some practical tips for beginning sight readers first. First of all, know what the tune melody sounds like. Obtain a recording for the, the, the tune in question, either from a band piper or from your own source. And then obtain a copy of the, the, the written drum score for the tune in question. So, for the tune we, uh, 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 tune we all know, let's try the first part of Scotland the Brave. And let's use James's score for Scotland the Brave, which is found on page 59 of his ebook, The Grade 4 Drum Score Collection, to which all Inner Circle members have access to on the, sh on, on the shared drive. Again, we'll concentrate on part one for this lesson. Now, once you've done those two things, obtain or make a recording of your instructor or lead drummer playing the score for that tune. Audio is fine. Of video recordings even better. James's ebook uh, contains recordings of, of him playing each score, so we'll, we'll use that as well and uh, I come back to it. Make sure you can sync up the playing of the recording to the sheet music, okay? Uh, don't be afraid to, to stop it, start it again. Uh, always know where you are in the sheet music uh, uh, if you can. If, if you get lost, don't be afraid to go back, start the recording again. It's just going to help you reinforce uh, uh, your knowledge and, and navigation of that score. First part's easy through either three pace rolls or even two, four single taps at tempo before starting the score. If the player is willing, uh, uh, whoever's making the initial recording for you, it's even better if they can play each part separately. Now, don't try to look at an entire part or even a full line of music right away. Instead, link up the recorded playing to the written score on a bar by bar or phrase by phrase basis. Know how the musical notation, the notes, the, notes, the rests, the flam notes, etc., match up to, uh, to each sim, uh, single beat. Let's give it a try by working through part one on a bar by bar basis first. Hum the melody, listen to the score recording followed on the sheet music, break down the components of, of each bar, sing the drumming in the bar, and then play the drumming in the bar very slowly, but keeping the melody in mind. So first, let's give it a try. Let's go through it slowly with line one, on a bar by bar basis. So the first bar is four beats. Ready? And one and two. Dee dum bum da dee dum da dum. Again, one and two. Dum da dum da dee dum da dum. Let's give it a try. Now that that, that first note can uh, are uh, coming in. You can see the the lead in. It's a um, uh, it's uh, it's got hash marks, so and goes from uh, right to left. Chances are, uh, in this case, it's a seven stroke roll. D and that next roll, I put in the note values for you there, so uh, you can see that this the spacing isn't uh, isn't reflective of the actual note values. In this case, it's an eleven stroke roll. So. B dum dum ba dee dum da dum ready and one and two D dum de da dum so ready the so roll one and two D dum de add in the flam that comes next and then the next is the seventh stroke roll and a triplet so let's carry it right over to the first note of bar number two ready and 
one and two. Dee -dum, dee -dum, dee -dum. Ready? One and two. Dee-dum, dee-dum, dum, dee -dum, dum. One last time. One and two. Dee-dum, dee -dum, dum. Now bar two. Now notice the accent over top of the uh, of that first note with the uh, uh, that's a quarter note with a uh, with with uh, three hash marks underneath. Thirteen stroke roll, but it's tapped. That means it's it's a twelve stroke roll. Bez up, 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 bez up. So just go to the, the uh, note number three. Ready? One and two and three. Again. One and two and three. Okay, and that carries right into a seven stroke roll, another six uh, tap, tap right onto it, and then uh, f um, four 30 second notes. Uh, real quick, uh, finishing off on the first note of bar number three. So what have we got there? Again, one and two, and Let's give it a try. One and two, and again, one and two, and one, one, one last time. One and two and let's take bars one and two now and see if we can get through them. Zum is a blub blub sorry ready. One and two bizum is the pub blub biz up at the buzz up at the blub biz buzz but a bit of pup. Once again, let's give it a try now on the sticks. Ready and one and two. One last time. One and two. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a clip from our inner circle. If you'd like to see the full video, head on over to pipebanddrumminginnercircle.com. I will put that description in the link below. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I upload a new video lesson. You don't want to be missing out on that. And please, while you're here, hit that subscribe button.